but in order to still have something refreshing back in the day that wasn't alcoholic, they would take vinegar and sweeten it and then cut it with water. And that's what's called a shrub, guys. It's just a, you know, people pay high dollars now to get those vinegar shots at the grocery store. I was just going to say, oh, so you mean a sweetened version of an apple cider vinegar? Yeah. Because that's what is all the rage in the health community Exactly, right now. yeah, yeah. Oh, I start my morning with a diluted apple cider vinegar and make sure to rinse your mouth after because they're your teeth. I know. It's it's funny how that stuff becomes cyclical. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it just comes back around. They're like, hey, what was this thing that they were doing back in the day? Oh, cool. Let's do that. They always we can't come say, up with anything more, you know, we can't come up with anything original. So we're just yeah. going to like take the past idea and like redress it up just a little bit. Just put a new name on it. Tie it with a bow. Right. So guys, the... Uh, the last course coming up is going to be really simple. The cake's already made, and all we got to do is uh, make the mocktail that's going with it. It's going to be a little play on a white Russian. If any of you guys have seen the uh, the movie The Big Lebowski, our boy the dude, the duder, the duderino, the dude man, the dude meister, he uh, loved a good Caucasian. So Let's we're going to... Let's go ahead and stay like this since we don't have that much to do for it. Yeah, for sure. Go ahead and keep talking. I'm going to... Um, bring the things over from the fridge to make it. We'll make the mocktail right here in front of you and I'll bring the cake out of the fridge too. So just give me a second to grab that stuff. Yay. So happy girl, this is going to be a little bit different than last time because I'm going to have to do a little pre-infusion with the topo of the vanilla syrup that we have. Okay. And Go then, ahead and tilt that camera down a little bit so they can see our prep. Okie dokie. On um, this one. Really brought the really brought the room together. Okay, pop that guy. Is this for it? Yes, it is. This is our coconut chantilly. Make. Let me put this more secure so we can cut it real quick. <laughs> We're just going to do a little clean up here, guys, so we can get the cake all situated. He's like, let me get in the frame. Let me get in the frame. I helped. Um, if you want, happy girl, we can take that over to the cutting board and I'll dismount it from the, you know, from the platter that's underneath it. Perfect. And then I will. Uh, I forgot about that. Cut it all proper, like you know. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move these over here real quick. Okay. And uh, Odin. Odin's in the camera. Odin's taking up all the camera times. He's like, yeah, I need to be in the camera. Okay, guys, so I've got our chocolate cake right here. And I'm just going to give us a little cut ski. Odin, a little close, by. Okay, so we've got two plates. Don't even need our platter. And we're going to reserve the right to eat another slice, guys. All the slices. Oh, then. He's like, what? I'm just sniffering it. I didn't even look at it, I promise. Mm. Okay. Okay, so I've got a little 
coconut chantilly. It's just some coconut cream sweetened with a little agave syrup. Delicious. And then we've got it worked didn't okay. Work as much as I wanted it to. Probably your desiccated idea would have been better. Yeah, who knows? Next time. Right? So what I need is do we have can you just empty out that um last drink that I had with the lemon lime one? Oh, I can just get you a cup. Okay, that's cool too. Yeah. I wasn't sure how you we were going to infuse it if you were just going to pour it into the topo. Yeah, I'm kind of just going to. And then these are some coconut water cinnamon small ice cubes. And I'm just infusing our Topo Chico with some vanilla syrup right here, guys. <laughs> Watch his snoot, they said. Oh, he's sniffing so hard, Chef. He is absolutely interested. Okay, so we're going to take our Bengal spice infused coconut milk here, guys. And we're just going to... I'm going to free pour. Yeah. That'd be so yummy. I think that looks good. And then... Boom, boom. And then we're going to give it a little stir. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's foaming up. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's foaming. That topo. Oh, that got slushy down there. Yeah, that's the thing. Those coconut cubes, they are high sugar count. So they just kind of split apart. Not exactly a bad thing. <clears throat> okay. Okay, guys. Okay, 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 chef. Are we ready? We are ready. Odin, you ready? Yeah, that was born ready. Last course. Okay, chocolate cake, guys. Gluten-free chocolate cake. Strawberry compote layer. Chocolate ganache layer with a... Uh, HU chocolate, you know, certified, you know, what's it called? Um, cruelty free chocolate. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And a coconut chantilly Yum. on top. Oh, the oh yes. Can't break tradition. Cheers. Yes. Mm. Oh yummy. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. You know what? It. It's so weird to say it, but it tastes and smells like a root beer float. Right. Or like a sarsaparilla float. Mm hmm Oh, my gosh. Right? It's is, so yummy. Isn't that fun? Mm. And I love all the vanilla bean and... Yeah, the vanilla bean foam up on top. That's amazing. That's gentilly cream is perfect. Oh, boy. Mm. Mm. It's fudgy. Mm -hmm. Now I just went with some small pieces here, guys, because this is a rich cake. Mm 
What did you end up deciding to do for the strawberries? Well, I tried this oven dried strawberry thing. I just didn't like the texture that came out. Okay. So I took fresh strawberries and just, you know, made a cooked down compote. There you go. Agave syrup and the strawberries in the pan. That's it. And just let it reduce down. Mm. Really delicious. Really simple. A little cornstarch at the end just to bind everything mm -hmm. together. But yeah. At Johnson & Wales. During stock soups and sauces. Our assignment from Chef Woodruff, Miami campus. <laughs> In case you went through the Shout same out. hell. In case you went through the same hell. Not only did we have to be immaculate for lineup, because Johnson & Wales was found on a military handbook. You have to be immaculate for lineup at 7 a.m. Most chefs wanted you to have a capital T, just iron line down, sorry, just a straight iron line down the middle, right? Uh -huh. The spine line. Chef Woodruff wanted a capital T, which means you have to press it from the back arm sleeve to the back arm sleeve completely across and then down, but not all the way up to the neck. Yeah. Can't look like there can't be any possible crossing T. It has to be perfect capital T. <clears throat> On top of it, everybody had to do the exact same assignment. Every class year in year out didn't matter oh wow and it's write a five page paper on a scoffier that's it she just wants you to write a five page paper on a scoffier mm -hmm. the father of stock soups and sauces mm -hmm. i took the book and i was inspired by the different ways that you can thicken a stock soup or sauce arrowroot cornstarch potato uh, aroo i know that there's more agar agar um all these different like thickening agents. Yeah. Uh, I think even sea moss and seaweeds can thicken. Oh yeah, definitely. <clears throat> so I was really inspired and I wrote this August Escoffier inspired paper on thickening agents. Mm -hmm. I got a, I got a fail. She was like, rewrite my paper. This isn't what I asked for. I asked you to write to me about Esco Escoffier. I was like, this is how he inspired me because I'm, yeah. I'm, reading his book and I'm figuring out like, wow, who would have known all of these amazing ways to like thicken things yeah. and one makes it clear and one makes it cloudy and one makes it, you know, so funny. Yeah. They didn't <laughs> encourage free thinking. No. You know? They just wanted <laughs> you very... to, they basically just wanted you to write an autobiography or a biography on him. Mm -hmm. and just like, like, no, we don't want your, we don't want your opinion. <laughs> I just want you to tell us about him. Five pages, though. Five pages on Escoffier. They have that Escoffier cooking school in Boulder. They do. Yeah, I've seen the kitchen. And I was very shocked. Because, I mean, I went to Johnson & Wales. Mm -hmm. And even CIA in Florida. Not CIA. Um, the Cordon Bleu. So. Yeah. Um, even they had immaculate facilities. August Escoffier is, is kind of jank. Yeah, it really is. And I'm like, I guess this shows where flavor comes through. <laughs> but this is interesting. I always thought it was fun to see all the kitties. Played with rose water for a bit. That would be good in a chocolate strawberry cake. It's really strong, though. Yes, mm. rose water is very strong, as is orange blossom water. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Very Be great careful flavors, with neroli. Yeah, right? Is that good, babes? Yeah, I finished my cake, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at me. I'm finishing everything today. I think that's the Chef Beerman Live first, guys, where I finished all three courses of the food and didn't leave anything on my plate. Mm -hmm. I did good. That doesn't happen. And we're doing really good on time, too, guys. I was going to say, it's been 90 minutes? Not even. We went live at 5.30, so yeah, 90 minutes, yeah. So I think we're going to finish up our drinks here, guys, and uh, we're going to call tonight. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for joining us live tonight, guys, on, here on Chef Beard Man Live on YouTube. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and we'll come back at you in probably about two weeks with another one. And with Happy Girl Mantra, Odin, and myself, have a good one, guys. We love you. Night. Good night. Thanks for watching.